Hey everybody, welcome back for a World of Warships Wednesday. Today, this is the first battle I have with my fully maxed out New Mexico, so we get a little uh, swing around look at uh, all the extra AAA and uh, secondary guns that this the final hull gets. So you can see, uh, it's, it's a pretty looking ship with all the extra AAA and stuff it gets on it. Not bad, not bad at all. Plus the catapult launch aircraft for spotting to get you a little extra range with it. Not too bad. It's certainly, um, I, I can tell you this, I'm, I'm not scared of New Mexico's still with any of my, uh, carriers whenever I see a New Mexico in the battle. So it's not, uh, mode enabled. it's not AAA heavy particularly. It's got a decent amount and it does, uh, knock down a few airplanes as they come in and attack, but certainly it's not enough to, like, scare away air attacks from you. Not without somebody else to support you for AAA. It's better than having no AAA at all, like in Arizona, but that's really it. So the battle takes a minute to get going. This, uh, it's not a... It's not a particularly noteworthy battle, really, but it wasn't... It wasn't terrible either, so I figured... Since it was, in fact, the first battle I had with the fully maxed out North Carolina, or North Carolina, yeah, I wish, fully maxed out New Mexico, why not throw it up there anyway? So. Autopilot mode disabled. So, trying to decide where to go as uh, the battle unfolds here, and I'm already over the halfway mark to the west, so might as well head out west, which is basically where everybody else is already going anyway, except for the one AFK cruiser up there. Or the two AFK cruisers, except for that Atlanta's not AFK, he's just moving backwards. The Kirov right there is AFK, but he'll get into the battle eventually. I'm not sure what the Atlanta was doing. But he was definitely cruising backwards, so hey, whatever. We've got a Nagato up there who's about within range. Assuming that someday the guns swing all the way around and traverse all the way towards what I guess would be the south. Assuming that the maps are all north, north top oriented. So yeah, the turrets are still traversing. And as the turrets come into range... Try to get some AP hits on him to start here. Miscalculated his speed a bit, was a bit out ahead of him, and then he turned anyway, but... The rear turrets come into play here in a moment, and too bad those torpedoes died out before they got to him, because those looked like at least the the, the torpedo off to the left was pretty good. Scored a couple of hits there, nothing really good and major, but he's under some heavy, heavy concentrated fire now, so that helps. Get a couple more good hits in, but again, even my AP shells aren't doing a whole lot, unfortunately. Would have been nice to get some kind of a penetration or a citadel. Dare I say it? Dare, dare! So I'm contributing damage on this Nagato, but not anything. I actually didn't fire on him because I thought our team was going to finish him before my shells would arrive there. Which I think is the case. I don't think I would have actually got him. But if I had a chance that I might have actually knocked him out. I'm not sure. So that Atlanta is just about at the edge of my unspotted range. But even if I don't hit him, i probably chase him away a little bit and make him reconsider his choices in life. Encourage him on his way. Scamper back home, you little scamp. Back home to Atlanta, I declare. 
And then this, this was actually pretty hilarious. What an unexpected thing. I've, I've often talked and wondered and thought about what, what would have happened if an entire team in this game on this map just sailed up the slot in the middle. How funny would it be? The other team would never see it coming, but it would basically be like a murder shooting gallery. This is kind of an obscure reference, but if you've ever seen the movie War, uh, Wing Commander and what happens at the end, that's kind of what I imagine would happen. We just line up and just destroy them as they came out. Which is pretty much what does happen here. Like, it was it was a brave gesture, boys, and it was it was a worthy a worthy effort. But I don't think it was worth the effort. I mean, it, it, it was worth a shot to see uh, to see how it played out, I guess. But uh, after seeing these guys do it, I don't think I would ever try it now. They just got annihilated. I mean, if they had, uh, if they had put that together with this Cleveland and Farragut coming around the, uh, point there and timed it a little better, it would have given our guys some real problems, I will say that. So it, it wasn't entirely a foolhardy gesture, just their timing was a little off. If those two guys right there, if those two guys right there had come up the middle, or come around, uh, the easternmost point of the island there as those guys came up the middle. That could have actually given our guys a handful to deal with in the center there. But as it is, our guys were more than capable and equipped of handling anything that came their way there. So, that's four ships on the enemy team knocked out in that one push there up towards the center and around the edge into our base. And then apparently they had three AFK guys back at their point as well. So, not, um, not looking too well for the other team. Looking pretty good for us, of course. So this Kirov is one of the AFKs and, well... I'm not going to not shoot at somebody just because they're AFK. If they're within range and I don't have any better targets to shoot at, I'm going to shoot at them, including in my carrier. Of course, my New Mexico's shot dispersion is like a fire hose. And I get zero hits on them there with any of the first, first barrage, but come back into it again and see if we can't get some good AP on him here. Except we still had HE loaded. We did hit him, but of course no fires on an AFK guy, doesn't that just figure? And look at the Atlanta getting chased around up there again. So while I've got my spider aircraft up on an AFK AFK ship, there's no need to even move the mouse. You just wait until your guns reload and then punch them off again. And then hope that your uh, RNG on the guns is a little more favorable. As the guns reload and the other guns come into bear. A little better. Still no citadels. Except for the citadels and fires he just took there. Pretty good damage there. So we'll bring the other guns to bear in on target here. Try to get the shots off in time. Autopilot mode disabled. Swing around off the autopilot. Try to get him enough shots in to finish him off. And he just gets totally annihilated as, as I'm firing everything I've got to try and guarantee a hit and finish him. So. You can see on the uh, map down there, there were two guys still AFK when they were destroyed. The third one that they were talking about from their team must have actually moved out and joined the battle at some point. Unless he's that other cruiser farther away that I'm not seeing. But I thought that was the Atlanta. Of 
Yeah, that's the Atlanta. That's what I thought. So there's two guys left. Two guys left on the other team. Autopilot mode We're moving in on their cap pretty easily here. Having only lost four people from our team. And we have all of our battleships left. And we've only lost two cruisers and two destroyers. We're in pretty good shape. And the Arizona is just not enough guns on the ship to counteract everything that's bearing down on them. And I fired just a bit too far out ahead of him. Autopilot mode disabled. He does have enough guns on the ship to deal with the Atlanta though. The Atlanta already had pretty low health from previous fighting, but Still, we've lost five ships, and they have two remaining, and we know where both of them are, basically, so. Some of our team is still doing I don't know what all the way up north. But the rest of us, there's more than enough of us bearing down on the Atlanta and Arizona here, even with the amount of health they've both got left. Flame-throwing abilities of uh, Atlanta is always something to keep in mind if you're attacking one. Especially when your own flame-throwing abilities are basically the opposite and you have the fire hose going to put out fire. Like my guns just did there. Spraying all over the place. Got pretty good hits on him. And then have to, have to use the FPE, or the FPE, the uh, damage control party cross my game genres there for a second. The good thing is, my secondaries get involved in the fight here. And this is where I learned that the Atlanta has torpedoes that I was previously completely unaware of. And you can see how much damage I lose off of that. That was horrible. But now I know that the Atlanta has torpedoes. And between the flooding and the disabled engines, um... I've got to hope that my secondaries have enough shots to finish them off. Or that my main batteries reload quickly enough and I can catch him outside of his turn. Which I did, and I'm hitting him pretty well. Got him down pretty far, and I'm pretty sure I've got... Pretty sure I'm going to have him finish, and then my ship explodes. And then I don't even get... And I don't think I would have killed him anyways, because I don't think I, he wasn't on fire or flooding or anything. But it's still disappointing to get that close to knocking somebody out and scoring a scoring a kill in a battle right there at the end and losing inside the cap as well. So they did a little bit of work knocking us out, a few of us out there. The torpedoes definitely did not help me. But... 32 main battery kills, 17 secondary battery kills, a fire and an incapacitation. It's not too bad for somebody like me who's not really a battleship expert by any means. I definitely am still learning when to fire, when to not fire, when to, when to aim low, when to aim at the superstructure, etc. I'm working on it, but anyway, there's the uh, my first battle in the fully maxed out New Mexico with all the... Of course, you don't get to see the AAA going off because there were no planes, but... The first battle was the first battle. And time runs out, and we win, so... Not the world's most exciting battleship battle, certainly, without any kills or anything. But, excepting for running into the torpedoes, I definitely had the Atlanta right where I wanted him. So, uh, that's how that first battle shook out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. it. I know it wasn't terribly exciting or interesting, really, but if you haven't seen what the New Mexico looks like with all of its upgraded hull, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week. Take care.